Two-year-old Florida boy remains in critical condition this morning after being caught in the middle of a police shootout. CBS News correspondent Kelly Kobiella has the story. The shooting played out near a busy Jacksonville strip mall Friday afternoon. An innocent mother and child became collateral damage when police went after a bank robber. And I literally saw the police officer like run up to the, the guy shooting him. The robber, wearing a ski mask, attacked two bank tellers, then ran to a nearby Wendy's restaurant and jumped into a car in the drive-thru. But what police did not know was that this was not a getaway car. 35-year-old Joanne Cooper and her two children were inside with the suspect. They didn't say get out of the car. They immediately started the fire as if the car was a part of the whole robbery thing. The suspect yelled, I'm going to kill you. The officer didn't know if he was referring to him or to the woman behind the wheel of the car. The officer fired his shotgun. Five officers fired 42 times. The suspect was killed without firing a single shot. Police also hit the mother in the foot and her two-year-old son was shot twice in the chest and in the arm. When they approached that car and discovered those children in the back and, and the woman who was shot in the foot, I can tell you it was very difficult for all the officers out there. Investigators are now looking at whether the officers involved went too far. Kelly Cobiella, CBS News, Miami. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.